paid $5 at a yard sale, noticed her next at DC Comics, so after searching, I could not find her anywhere on eBay. Put her on an auction for $300 and she sold. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, we have 40 May bolos. What do I mean by May bolos? These are items that sold in May from my Facebook group members. It is the best of the best. I asked them to share their best May bolos. So you are gonna see some big money, probably some unexpected bolos. I know some of these have definitely been expected, unexpected for me. All right. We're gonna get started here. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. I'm also gonna pop a screenshot up right here of the sold listing. We're gonna keep this really educational. We're gonna keep it fast paced. And there were a ton of submissions this month. So this is gonna be a three part video. So definitely stay tuned for parts two and three coming soon. If you can hit that bell notification, that will alert you when I post new videos. And if you would like to be a part of the next video to have your bolo featured, head on over to my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and check the featured announcements section for posts that look like this. All right, here is the first one. Probably not a huge Bolo, but I got this brand new Nintendo Zelda Shield lunch bag at Goodwill. For some reason, it was in the toys marked 50 cents. It sold in 24 hours on Mercari for full asking price of $20. And that's what it looks like. The next item, it says they got it free. What is the best price ever? Free. Doesn't say where they got it, but uh, it is a vintage 1990s corduroy LA Raiders snapback hat sold for $202.50 plus shipping. Bought at the Salvation Army for a dollar each. I like bread and butter. These are vintage Pyrex, a dollar each. That is fantastic. Now, if you don't know Pyrex, is there are so many pieces that are bread and butter. There are some super duper high dollar bolos for um, Pyrex. And I have a video on that that I did a long time ago. Um, but I made the mistake in the beginning of thinking that all Pyrex was big money. So you'll get to see my wah wah in that video, but it's an older video. So you can check that out if you like. But these sold, the first one sold for $32.99 and the second one sold for $29. So those are great margins if you pick them up for a dollar a piece paid $13 for a lot of hats and belts at an estate sale auction. Uh, cost of goods, less than 50 cents per item. Promoted at 5%. It is a Prada Skinny Gold Women's Belt, and they sold this for $99. Lot of crochet hooks, paid 50 cents at an estate sale and sold within a couple hours of listing. They are Boyle and Susan Bates crochet hooks, and these sold for $38.99. Somebody put, oh, really? Never thought about crochet hooks. So some of these may just be unexpected bolo items, and but most of them are going to be big money. But still, definitely items that you should be looking for when you're out at those at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, you name it. Found at a local independent pharmacy for $34. Sold for my asking price of $295. It is um, a therapeutic coal tar shampoo. What? That is amazing. It's discontinued shampoo. It's new without the box. So it's new old stock. That is fantastic. Never heard of that brand. It's I-O-N-I-L uh, dash T. Inel? Inel T? I don't know, but I'm definitely going to be on the lookout. Picked up for 25 cents at a yard, at a yard sale, at a yard sale and sold it for $45 plus shipping. It's a vintage raincoat and it is... Um, I don't see the actual brand. I don't know if the brand is important, but this is what it looks like. Paid 99 cents at a City Mission thrifty shopper. Researched and found another one had sold for $300. Started mine at $74.99, hoping for a bidding war. Had a couple watchers, but only one bidder. Still a huge profit for me. It sold for $74.99. It is a Unibock, U-N-I-E-B-O-E-K. David the Gnome Porcelain Shelf Sitter Miniature. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. I do apologize. This is what it looks like from 1978. Paid $5 at a yard sale. Noticed her next at DC Comics. So after searching, I could not find her anywhere on eBay. 
put her on an auction for 300 and she sold. I bought two other vintage dolls at the sale and all have sold, but none for as much as this pretty girl. It says Mego Nubia, N-U-B-I-A, Wonder Woman character doll rare. Wow, check that out. Never seen that one. G.I. Joe, 50 cents, sold for $61. I think this is one of the guys that has like the flocked beard and the flocked hair. $20 at a yard sale, accepted a best offer of $175. It is a Mountain Dew clock. Bought it for a dollar at a local independent thrift store, listed on eBay for $150 yesterday and sold same day for a best offer of $125. It is a purple Fenton fairy lamp, pineapple heart candle holder lamp vintage. So this is what it looks like right here. Bolo is some, but I paid $15 for this weird owl record and it was worth about $60 to $70 by itself. I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for old weird AL. Is it records from now on. What is AL? Um, that's for sure. And it says reserved for, so I, I'm not sure what the title of the record is. It says even worse. Oh, Weird Owl. Maybe that's the, I'm not sure. The other two albums my buyer wanted to bundle for this sale were given to me, but I already had copies. I don't think they'd be bolos on their own. So it was this uh, record and then two others and it sold for $80 on Mercari. Vintage Sim City computer game for Mac, a dollar at a thrift store, accepted a best offer of 70. So Sim City Supreme Apple Macintosh version 1991. This is what it looks like. Got this, got at the give and take section at the dump. So paid nothing for it. I think I listed it around 175 and took a best offer of 120 after a few days. Tritronic Sports Basic G3 Electronic dog training transmitter collar. So these are dog collars for dogs. I have sold these before. Even if they don't have, it's not a complete system and you just have the collars, those will sell. Hi, Courtney. This is a Kate Spade place, your bets coin purse. It is super tiny, just bigger than a credit card. I found it at the Goodwill bins. It was super lightweight. So my cost of goods was about 25 cents. Sold it for a hundred on Poshmark, my full asking price in about two weeks. I just want to say to not be afraid to dig and dig deep at the bins. You never know what you will find. This was in the bin of toys and random things. It was truly a surprise find for sure. Awesome. Wow. Dug it out of the bins for a quarter. Somebody put nice tip. Found at the Goodwill for $2 and sold on eBay in less than a week for $80 with free shipping. It is a Robert Graham X Marvel Spidey Battle graphic t-shirt. So I guess maybe Robert Graham and uh, Marvel did a collab. Never knew anything about that. Um, I know that some Robert Graham can do really well. Found this in the bins at the outlet. It was only $5. I, it also came with a Zelda game. System worth about $240 and game $35. My son, who goes with me every week to the bins, decided to keep it for himself. He deserved it because he's a great business partner. This is what it looks like. Um, purchased for $60 on Facebook Marketplace and did local pickup, so no shipping fees. Sold for $699, full asking price on Etsy, $95 shipping. This one comes from Be Carried Away. She is a moderator of my Bola Buddies Facebook group and a member of my channel. She is awesome. Her channel is amazing. Please go sub her up at Be Carried Away. This is her channel. And I will try to remember to link it down below. Got for a dollar at a garage sale. Put it up for auction with a starting bid of a dollar. Ooh, brave. I never start things at a dollar. Um, 30 bids later, sold for $595. Ah! Um, Elder Scrolls Arena IBM PC Do CD ROM version. Ah, 1993. I don't know what it is. Is it a PC game, maybe? I think it is. Bought for 50 cents at a yard sale. Are you? kidding me it is a let me zoom in here and try and read this 50 cents um it's some sort of keyboard digital piano with stand pedal pedal power cord i can't read the brand hopefully when i pop up the screen share it'll be bigger i'm trying to zoom in on my computer and i'm just cannot read the brand it starts with an a so um hopefully i can get that clear for you guys up there Paid $10 at an, oh, and it sold for $508, 50 cents into 508. Are you kidding me? 
Wow. Paid $10 at an estate sale. It's a Sears Lantern Avocado Green. Sold for $144.09. Got this for $2. It is a rare 1936 World War I era crash relic U.S. Army plane something canvas. It's cut off. Um, and it says the soldier's name. Sold it for $500. Two bucks. Wow. Um, wow. Also, this World War I Navy's pilot jacket paid $20. And I don't know if this is sold yet or if it looks like it's currently still listed. So um, I don't know if he'll get his asking price or not. But he has it listed for $688.88. Okay, the other item sold. Hello, paid $6 at the Goodwill, sold on eBay for full asking price of $100. They are North Face Pendleton Camp Mules, Thermo Ball Loafer Shoes, Men's Unisex Size 10. So again, North Face and Pendleton doing a collab. Hello again, found these at an independent thrift store for four bucks, sold on eBay for full asking price of $235 plus shipping. They are Allen Edmonds, Fifth Avenue, Capto Oxfords. Great keywords there. That's what they look like. 235 bucks. Got two of these at my local honey hole for $5. Listed on both eBay and Mercari. I've been on Mercari less than a month. Sold on Mercari within three days. Best thing, I still have the other on eBay with watchers. Sailor Moon always seems to sell well. Yeah, Sailor Moon is definitely a bolo. Um, these are rubber squeeze toys, um, and it's a set of two, it looks like, or maybe three. Uh, they're vi vintage figurines, but they're bath toys. That's what it looks like, 99 bucks on Mercari. Men's Harley button-down shirt, sold in a week, paid $6 at the Goodwill. Brother P-Touch electronic labeling system. She said her mom gave her this, took over a year to sell, and found these at the bins about a month from date of sale. Sold international women's 90s. Y2K overalls, guess light denim button fly, pressed logo, wide leg. And she is a new member of my Bolo Buddies channel. I have not got her um, eBay store yet, but as soon as I have that information, which I will have it before I post this video, I will pop a screenshot up of her eBay store and I will try to remember to link it down below. So definitely go and check her out. So I'd say both are great bolos for different reasons. Cookie Monster stuff for me is something I love personally. Only paid a dollar. The 49ers jacket is a real nice sale as well and only cost $4. So the Cookie Monster shirt sold for $50 and this is what it looks like. And the San Francisco 49ers bomber jacket sold for $75. So definitely some nice bolos in this video. Thank you all so much for sharing. If you are a Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel, if you'd like to join, there is a link down below. If not, no worries. It is level two to get the shout out. Like if you want your eBay store or your YouTube channel, shout it out. Um, got this machine and two bottles for free. Donated the machine because I didn't want to deal with shipping. Sold both bottles separately at $50 each. It is a Shark Sonic Duo Reusable Cleaning Solution bottle. Discontinued. It looks like it's just an empty bottle. I can't tell if there's solution in there or not, but maybe to refill it? That is definitely interesting. Paid $4.99 at a local thrift store, started bidding at $49.99 and got several offers within the first hour, but nothing close to what it sold for. This is the Vintage 2000 Putt-Putt Purple Car with Pep Plush Humongous Entertainment. Sold for $255, so definitely a bolo. Off guard. Um, Let's see. I just wanted to share so badly with someone. My husband does not like what I do. Oh, well. Bought at the Salvation Army for $5. Half off day was originally $9.99. I went two hours before closing and was surprised they were still there. Bought them because all white comfort casual shoes are trending right now. What a return on money. Um, return on investment. ROI. Uh, let's see. Sold them on Poshmark for a hundred dollars. Poshmark took 20. So net earnings was 80 bucks on a $5 pickup. They are eco E C C O women's slip on sneakers. Got at the Goodwill bins for $2. It is a Wilson tennis racket and details are right here in the listing. Sold it for $249 and 99 cents. That is incredible for sure. 
got this at an online auction house by me for $2 and sold yesterday. They are 10 TDK 120 minute superior normal bias uh, D120 blank audio tapes. This is what they look like. They sold for $85.99. I got these awfully ugly Nikes at a garage sale and they took about two months to sell, but they finally sold last week for full asking price of $70. Nike men's size nine and a half Metcon 4XD training shoes. Red camo, red brown camo. That's what they look like. All right, you guys, that was about 40 bolo items. Again, there's going to be a part two and three this month because you guys brought so many amazing bolos. Thank you all so much for participating. And if you haven't participated and would like to, head on over to my Bolo Buddies um, Facebook group and join and share a bolo under the announcements featured section. You'll see a post that's, and it tells you what to put in the comments along with a screenshot. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you at the next one.